Hi everyone, it's Rani DeBaird, PEI Medium. I'm here to give you an energy report for the month of November. I did some meditating this morning, connecting with my guides and angels, and have a big message for everyone to help you and to support you over the next few weeks. So first of all, we are now dead into fall. Um, Fall, for me personally, energetically, is the hardest, um, it, it's the hardest season of the year. It's hard on my physical body, it's hard on my mental health, it's hard on my emotional health. It's big shifts and changes. It's whenever the earth shifts slightly in its axis and we come into that fall equinox and come into the fall months and things begin to shift and change, that really affects me. I find I'm more challenged with my physical health uh, on a lot of different ways. And my energy is strained and it takes a lot more uh, energy for me uh, to tune into my body to see what it needs in order to keep that uh, my vibration high and to keep my energy levels high as well. Sleep becomes a little bit more challenged. Um, my, the mental fogginess, uh, that little low-grade depression kind of seeps in there. And, of course, there are action steps that you can take to help to bring yourself back and to help bounce back. So that's why I'm here today. So when I connected, the month of November, they showed me it like a chart if we had our heart hooked up to a chart and our heart was going boom 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 boom, boom. so they showed me in, in a in a, a line graph what november looks like and essentially the energy is remaining constant there's no highs there's no lows it's a constant it's like a flat line so what that says on a lot of levels is november is not the month to be jumping into something brand new. November is a month of regaining your wholeness, uh, doing some self-care, connecting with your angels, doing some meditation. It's cozy time. Sit down with a nice cup of tea or hot chocolate, you know, grab a blanket and, and a book and, and sit for a few minutes every day and read. That's what November is about. Nothing new, nothing big, uh, just maintain so November is a maintain energetic month. So here are the top five things that the angels tell me to do to keep my energy high vibrational during the fall month. So number one, water or hydrate. So sometimes we can be drinking a ton of water, but it's not getting into the cells. So that in that case, we need to make sure that we hydrate. So sometimes I will uh, do a G2 to get my electrolytes up. Sometimes I'll do infused water where you put um, some fruit or some vegetables like cucumber slices or mint leaves or blueberries and you infuse your water and add a pinch of sea salt, real sea table, table blend sea salt into your water and that will uh, hydrate you better, okay? The better hydrated you are, the more everything can work within the physical body and it lifts your energy up. The second thing, reduce your sugars. So that's all sugars, including carbohydrates that turn to sugar instantly in your body, like your rice, your pasta, your grains, will turn instantly to sugar. So uh, my angels always tell me to reduce that. And as soon as I start to do that, reduce my sugar and reduce my, um, my high carbohydrate, I start to feel better. The brain fog starts to lift. So that's another hint. The next thing is vitamin D. I severely miss my sunshine vitamin in the fall. So I jack up my vitamin D and I uh, add some vitamin uh, K, okay, D3 and K2 
for better absorption um, and make sure that you're taking it with a bit of uh, healthy fat so that it's better absorbed into the body. So make sure you get that vitamin D going. The next thing is crystals. So whether you, uh, whether you hold crystals, whether you place crystals out in your living room, on your nightstand, where you, whether you wear crystals, put them in your pocket, or wear them as jewelry or bracelets, whatever you do, put some crystals on, wear them every day, and don't forget to put them in your window at night to cleanse and recharge them. And that will also help to lift your vibration and lift your energy, clear your energy field. And the next thing is move. Stay moving. Moving your body breaks up stagnant, low vibrational energy that may be clinging on to you. So get outside and walk. Go to a fitness, uh, a fitness class. Do some yoga in the morning or early evening move and that will really help as well. So sending you off this week with some positive love and light and many angel blessings.